All right, guys. What up? It's your boy Nike. You know, for comics today is Friday. I wasn't sure if I was gonna shoot a video just because I have no singles to show you guys. But you know what? I do have some stuff to show you, so I decided to make a video anyways. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen a sneak peek. I showed five books, and um, I'll show you three of those today. I'll show you the other two that were in that picture when I get my last omnibus. So I can show that whole order as a whole. So yeah, hopefully it gets here pretty soon because I leave to Disney World next Thursday. I leave. San Diego at 10 in the morning and gets to Orlando at 5 in the afternoon and a funny little quick side note uh, my brother-in-law is like dude that's a long ass flight at 7 hours I'm like man you're forgetting about the time zone difference he's like oh yeah so kind of a funny little side note there anyways three hardcovers Marvel box let's get into it we're gonna kick it off with this small but mighty little beast Check it out, He-Man Omnibus, or Mini Comic Collection, I guess you can say. Or that's what it's called, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I can't stress this enough, though. 17-something for over 1,200 pages of reading material. Now, that's a good size little book for 17-something. Now, I kind of call this small just because it's only 6 by 9. So, let me show you this next book real quick. Check it out. Wolverine, alright, this is the one I got as well. Now we'll kind of compare the two. You'll see size difference. <laughs> it's kind of a small little book. Anyways, back to He-Man. Once again, 17 bucks, 1200 pages, over 1200 pages, and um, let's get into it. Let me show you some artwork. Now the first 100 or so pages I was, I was skimming through the book, kind of had this type of layout. It's like a normal book layout. All right, check it out. And then after those hundred or so pages, it goes into a normal comic layout that you know I'm used to at least. And towards the end, though, I did notice some of them um, do have that kind of normal book feel to it, but you know nothing to whine about. We'll take one last shot at some of the artwork here. Hopefully, it's in picture for you guys. Check it out. So yeah, great price. For the amount of content you get, and you get a badass bookmark. Check it out. So yeah, that's that. Now you guys seen this book just a second ago. Wolverine collects Wolverine one four, Uncanny X Men, one seventy two to one seventy three. Let's open it up. Look at some art. Check it out. Show you another page real quick. Now, I got this for six bucks on Amazon, the used book section. But it's basically brand new. It was a library book. I guess nobody wanted to check it out. It has kind of a small stamp. I can't even see it. A tiny little stamp. And then it has a bro dart. And on the bro dart it has some st um, stickers. Just Jacksonville Public Library. Thank you for your purchase of the withdrawn library item. Whatever. Anyways, if you don't know what Brodart is, check it out. It's like a Mylar for your dust jacket. Gives it a little bit more protection. And if you guys remember, I showed Miss Marvel hardcover. Um, right when the video was over, it rips. Right kind of towards the middle, right around that area. It has a good three-quarter inch tear. And when that happened, I was like, man, I want to get a Brodart to protect my, you know, covers from now on. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to, you know, make the purchases because I never really seen one. When I got this book, I got to see firsthand what it looks like, how it feels, and whatnot. And I like it, so I bought some. But once again, side note, I got bamboozled. I purchased 25 of them. Now, when I checked out, it said 17.90, something, something around that price, somewhere around that price, I mean. And when I went to my online account to check, you know, see how much money I spent on my books. Excuse me, it said 24 something, somewhere in the mix. I got charged an extra couple bucks. I don't know if I missed a certain charge or something, but you know, it went from $17.90 to $24 something. So I got charged an extra couple bucks somewhere along the way. I don't know why. So if you order from the company itself, just read the fine detail because you need to get charged a couple extra bucks. But, anyways, I did a bro dart on this right here Green Lantern Omnibus. Now I have some beef with this right here. Before we get into that though, you can stop the video. That's what it comes with. Alright. Now the 
on the base itself looks amazing all right nice but <coughs> the um, spine it is jacked up big time now the the binding itself is you know being held up pretty damn well no complaints there but the spine the book is so big that it has a crease you can see it right there it has a crease now I did drop it I'm not gonna lie I was sitting down on a lazy boy so from knee high to the floor I don't think it caused that much damage so just beware it's a pretty big book and you know you can see right there the spine has a crease pretty much all the way down the middle it's pretty bad up here though now down the middle I could feel it but not that bad but yeah just beware I want you guys to know that but the you know the glue and whatnot it's it's you know it's solid I don't feel like it's gonna fall apart or anything like that which is important the most important part you know but the spine has crease beware Anyways, let's get into the art. And that's a another cover page. Alright, here we go. Check it out. Artwork. I love it. Pretty damn nice. It had two trade paperbacks. And um I read one. And I like it so much I just jumped straight to the omnibus. I guess I shouldn't be opening it like that because I noticed it just not 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 helping the spine out anyways yeah that's a lot of you know reading material in that book this is a comparison of the he-man and green lantern all right this is a 70 dollar book right here compared to a 17 dollar book i just kind of butt up the hard covers together and there you go 17 dollars on the top 70 dollars on the bottom Take a risk, people. Great deal. All right, now let's continue with the Marvel Collector Core box. Check it out. This is my single for the week. Invincible Iron Man. Cool little cover. It came with adorbs. Check it out. Little cutie. <laughs> it came with a keychain. see if it stays put pretty cool with the badge and almost every single subscription box now has some type of pin but none as cool as this that's pretty damn awesome came with a shirt so you get into focus we're in frame That's that. And then it came with a Funko Pop. Now I've seen two unboxings of this. And um, when I first seen this Funko Pop, I didn't like it too much. It looked plain and kind of boring on film. But seeing it, you know, firsthand, I actually like it. It's kind of it's kind of cool. And that is Morbius. And it also has that cheap sticker. But at least on the box it does say Collector Core. And um, yeah, so that's that. Check it out. You do have a zombie Morbius. So yeah, that's that, people. And that's all I got to show you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Um, next week, as I mentioned, I leave the Disney World. I'm pretty damn excited just because I haven't gone on a vacation since I was a kid. I have been on a plane since I was a kid. So if I, you know, you know, don't make it, I crash, I die. Whoever can find my house come get my stuff <laughs> anyways peace out people like subscribe share oh hold on hold on where i'm staying there's like eight comic book shops around the the house we rented so uh thumbs up for that i may come back with some comic books anyways for reals this time peace out people laters